Hello everybody. Uh, today I am going to talk about uh, number systems and I will talk about binary number systems, octal number systems and hexadecimal number systems. Uh, we are already familiar with decimal number systems. So, as we, as you know, okay, as you know that in decimal number systems, we, if you want to write uh, 8,000 I want to write 8,888 will we will write uh, like this that is 8888 eight, eight, eight. how it becomes 8888 mm, we generally uh, don't think we have become so used to it that writing 8888 eight, eight, automatically says to us that it is 8888 but actually in any number system any system number has some bits that is number of digits it contains in our number system the number of digits are 10 that is 0 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, total number of digits are 10. So, beginning from the right, the number gets multiplied by the base to the power 0, base to the power 1, base to the power that is 10 to the power. 10 is our base because this number system contains 10 digits and 10 to the power 3 and so on. So this 8 multiplied by any any number to the power 0 is 1 so this 8 multiplied by 1 becomes 8 and this 8 since it is a uh, second to the right it will get multiplied to 10 to the power 1 that is 10 so the second place has the place value 10 and we will multiply the place value to the number this will become 80 and third place will get multiplied by 100 and it will become 800 and this number this 8 will get multiplied by 10 to the power 3 and it will become that is 1000, this, this 10 to the power 3 is 1000, 1000 into 8, that is 8000. So, our number became 8000 plus 800 plus 80 plus 8, that is equal to, that is equal to 8888. I repeat, 
all the numbers here are 8, 8, 8, 8. But, but this number has the actual value of 8, but this 8 doesn't have the actual value of 8. It has the actual value of 8t because it is second place to the right. So this digit, this symbol is also of 8. But the actual meaning of this digit is 800, that is 8 multiplied by 100. And the actual meaning of this 8 is 8000. So all are 8s, but based on the position, they take, they take different values. So this is our, our decimal number system. Now, I will talk something about the binary number system. Keep this in mind while, while learning further concepts. Okay, now I will talk about um, binary number systems. These number systems, these number systems, sorry. Now I am going to talk about binary number system. Okay. So this number system has only two symbols that is zero and one. So if we have one object we can represent by the symbol but we if we have two objects we can't represent it by only one symbol we have to use two symbols so in case of decimal up to nine objects could be represented by a single symbol this nine and if you want to represent one more then we have the single then we can't represent this that is 10 objects by a single symbol so we use two digits that is one zero i would talk about it later but just understand that If we want to represent two objects, we don't have a single symbol to represent to represent two objects. We do have in decimal system this symbol, this symbol to represent two objects, but in binary number system, we can't represent two objects by any symbol because we only have z zero and one as symbols. So as we learned in the decimal system, if the decimal system has a base of 10, so the place value of digits are 10 to the power 0, 10 to the power 1, 10 to the power 2, and 10 to the power 3, and 10 to the power 4, and so on. So the digits take actual value based on their place value. So if I place 
in decimal system if i place 3 here it will be treated as 3 if i place 5 here it will not be treated as 5 but 5 into 10 because the decimal system has a base 10 now since we only have two digits in our binary number system so the numbers will take place value base place value as 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 5 2 to the power 6 and so on since since decimal system has the base of 10 it takes the place value of 10 to the power 0 10 to the power 1 10 to the power 2 and so on since binary number has the base of 2 it will take the values 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 and so on so if i write suppose Suppose I write one zero one 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 in binary notice that I have used only one and zero as the symbols because binary number only offers two symbols 0 and 1 so I have used 1 and zeros suppose I place 0 here also so what will be the place value the place value here is 2 to the power 0 this is 1 this is 2 to the power 1 so this is 2 this is 2 to the power 2 that is 4 this is 2 to the power 3 that is 8 this is 2 to the power 4 that is 16 and this is 2 to the power 2 to the power 5 that is 32 so this number will take the value 0 multiplied by anything is 0 so this number will actually have the value 0 and this number 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 now this number 1 multiplied by 4 is 4 this number multiplied by 8 is 8 16 multiplied by 0 will be 0 and 32 multiplied by 1 will be 32 so this number will take the value will take the value 46 so if I write 1 0 1 1 1 0 in binary it will mean 46 in decimal that is it actually means 46 objects so this is the way we write binary numbers 